Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com and we brought yet another currency review video. Brock Christina with me, say hello. Hello. So today we are taking a look at the 1963 Bank of England 10 shilling note. Now this note is pretty cool. A couple of cool things happened in history. Christina, who released their first album in 1963? The Beatles. The Beatles. I don't like the Beatles, <laughs> but the Beatles released their first album in 1963. And it was called Please Please Me. I see. Hmm. Okay, also in 1963, uh, Doctor Who, first uh, episode of season one was released. Yes, the very first episode. First episode, first season in 1963. So let's go ahead and talk about this note. On the front, you have Britannia, yes. who, who is essentially a female representation, almost a goddess figure, I guess, um, or a, a, a mythic figure, which represents Britain and the British Isles and the culture of Britain. And you'll see Britannia on a number of notes. You'll also see her on the Dominion of Canada notes and several other notes uh, throughout history. But you see Britannia on this note. You also see a very young-looking Queen Elizabeth II. Yes. Also on this note. And the thing is with Britannia, she's, it's a very small portrait of her. It actually takes up the T whenever it says 10 shilling. Ah, so it's in the, it takes up the T of the 10 shilling? Yes, it's right behind it. All right. And also, Christina, you also noticed a couple of really cool security features in this note, a black line. Yes. If you hold it to the light, you'll see a black line that is basically uh, a vertical line, I believe. Yes. It goes between, um, on the top it says Bank of England. It goes between the L and the A of England and right through the G of 10 shillings. Right. So this is really cool because you see more security features being introduced into banknotes over time. And this is uh, just a, basically a, a first run at some of these new security features that are invisible to the naked eye, but are only available when you hold the note up in the light uh, from the Bank of England. Also, as a security feature, we believe, Christine also noticed when she held the bill to the light, she saw a small image of Britannia. Actually, it takes up about an eighth, one whole column, and it is actually a, um, the paper, it's like the paper thins in her image of Britannia. Ah, uh, so it's not visible to the naked eye, but when you hold it to the light, you see this imposed image basically yes, within of her the... head and it just repeats down the bill interesting within the confines of the bill yes so that is the front of the bill is there anything else you want to talk about in terms of the front of the bill on the front of the bill we're good to go because it's i mean the bill itself is a maroon and cream color mm -hmm. it's very so we say dual tone it's not no no real fancy colors right so nothing ornate yes so no ornate what we believe no ornate inks no ornate patterns but you do have those security features which also, were introduced for anti, for anti counterfeiting. So, yes. let's take a look at the back. All right. So, on the back of the note, you do see Britannia once again. Yes, and it's actually the dominant thing on the back of the bill. Right. So, the dominant image on the on the reverse of the bill is Britannia. So, like we said, folks, um, these bills are very unique in that you don't see Britannia much on banknotes, and this is also a ten shilling, which at the time would have been about a half pound yes. bill. So obviously you have a, a one pound British note, but you also have the ten shilling note. Now shillings were, I believe, discontinued in 1970, I yes. believe. So this is unique in that it is essentially the equivalent of a half pound, or one twentieth of a pound being a shilling or twelve pence. Now I'm not really sure if that's the greater of the two, but we'll go ahead and take the one twentieth uh, ratio here. So again, 10 twentieths is one half, so half a pound. So, all right, do you want to say anything else about this bill, or should we wrap it up? I think we're good. I mean, there's nothing too, too fancy. I mean, there's a lot of uh, patterns on the back, but only Britannia sticks out on the back. All right, folks. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If everyone likes what they're hearing here on YouTube, please do check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Again, you can subscribe all over the web, Google Play Music, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Auto Radio. There's a number of outlets for the Frugal Snobs podcast, so please do go check out the podcast, subscribe to the podcast, listen to the show, everybody. You'll learn quite a few things. And also, just follow the Frugal Snobs. Also, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Be well, never pay retail. Take care, everyone.